Michael, first of all, you're originally from Texas. Tell us how you came to be in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, well, it started just through undergrad and, and, and I had professors who were convincing me that I needed to get a graduate degree and, uh, and just to pursue my art because they enjoyed kind of the way I was kind of moving forward with my practice as an artist. And, um, and so I decided to apply and uh, I actually was in a uh, jury competition that was held here in um, at Richards Hall here on on UNL campus and um, it was it's called the Nebraska National and and they hold a, it's a competition for undergraduate students to submit work and they get to show here you know and, and it's open to like uh, students nationally and internationally and so I I um, was selected to participate in that in 2013 uh, during the fall semester and so my current professors Aaron Holtz and Matthew Sontimer saw my work uh, during that time and decided to get in contact with one of my professors back home in Texas and Matthew happened to be best friends with my former professor from Texas Tommy Fitzpatrick and so it just became this you know kind of long conversation and, and convincing that you know this was the place for me and so uh, I applied got accepted um, and and also the, the the program offered very generous funding and so that really helped you know and, and uh, help get to this program kind of with ease without that uh, financial burden you know uh, weighing down on me and so, so yeah, now I'm here and three, three years later, I'm, I'm graduating um, in May. I had my thesis show last, last week and I passed my oral defense. All right, congratulations. It's an, yeah, it's an exciting process. It's, it's crazy how, how quickly uh, time just flies too, you know? <laughs> and now you're gonna be headed to um, Nebraska City for a couple weeks. Yes. What is, uh, receiving this fellowship mean for you in your career? I think w one thing I, I really enjoy is um, trying to to compete and, and, and apply to things that can really push my career um, as an artist and so one thing I am interested in is is the idea of the artist residency and what that does for the artists. Um, uh, I, I'm personally excited to go to this, to this program they have there at the Kimmel Harding Nelson Center, and 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 and, and ha actually have the focus, you know, they give me a studio, correct, and and um, and I'll just have you know nothing, you know, around me in order for me to complete my work, which is one thing I I, I really enjoy doing. Um, um, I. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I think one thing this does, and one one thing it, it, it's that's great, uh, and just coming out of an MFA, um, I think this will help me kind of push, you know, my career as an artist, and and help me even sit down to really think about, you know, what what it is I'm trying to make at during that time in, in Nebraska City. Um, I set up. I, I, I sent in a proposal that I wanted to kind of expand uh, the idea uh, of one of the objects I, 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 I make you know, within my practice. Um, and most of the objects I make, the sculptures I make, are uh, uh, based off of household items. And so the window blinds was something that I wanted to pursue further and see how I can, um, see what I can do, you know, on what the outcome would be just through a series, you know, of this one object. What is it about household objects that you find so fascinating? Uh, the fascination uh, came about maybe, um, maybe about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. Yeah, it was, it was, it was this kind of um, epiphany, I guess, that I had like in my studio. Um, so. I came into the program uh, primarily making paintings, 
and all of my paintings had this uh, very sculptural aspect to them. Uh, they were of a high relief. The paint was just built built on the surface, you know, quite a bit where it came off the surface. Sometimes, you know, four inches. Sometimes a little bit more than that. And so, I wanted to uh, during this uh, trying to figure out how to progress in that. Um, I, I wanted to make them way more obnoxious than what they already were. And so I, I tried to figure out a way to like really push the surface of the painting. How can I make them more three-dimensional, more physical? And, um, and then also started thinking, like, how can I even bring you know, this painting into our physical space? How can it sit you know, within and share this space with us? And, and since the paintings were uh, abstractions, I did not necessarily know how to do that with an abstract sculpture. Like, I didn't know how to bring an abstraction to our physical space. And so I began uh, sculpting. Um, okay, go just back up a little bit. <laughs> I was using insulation, insulation foam to help me push the surfaces. So I would sculpt these forms with the insulation foam, adhere them to the panels uh, that I was painting on, and then I would uh, um, uh, lather and, and brush the paint on top of that foam. And so with the foam, I, f I found that the foam had all of these uh, possibilities of just layering and carving it, and it can just kind of uh, become anything if you wanted it to. And so I, I adhered uh, quite a bit of foam to a panel one day, and I started sculpting some rags and a broom that was sitting on my floor in my studio. And uh, and that kind of became a point where I, I began to understand, like, what would it take for me to make a sculpture, you know, that maybe felt like a painting. And it was m sculpting objects that I was familiar with already, things that already sit with me within our physical space. And so through that, I thought the work was uh, a response to my studio. So I started making objects and constructing and manipulating things and, and in my studio. And, and just through that, um, I started getting this idea of like the repurposing of the objects. And also this idea or just this thought that everything I was making had this kind of domestic quality to it. And so that started making me think about um, when I was a child, um, how my dad, uh, who's been working at U-Haul almost his entire life, still there, and even my mother, um, they, they used to bring home um, items, objects, you know, anything that we can use in order to live from abandoned storage units from the U-Haul. And, um, um, and also my father built the house we grew up in, you know, with his own hands too. And so, I started, I started thinking, uh, I thought, I started thinking about like just the importance of those memories and, and what that can do to help me kind of push these works further into this more sculptural element. And, and so that's where the household objects came about. Uh, and so then, then the objects started to, to derive from kind of these memories and kind of some experiences from childhood and even uh, sometimes dreams, um, and, and so that's where I, yeah, that's where I get, and that's where my fascination with the household item, just, yeah, that's where it came, came <laughs> okay. from, sorry. <laughs> what, are your, what are your goals as an artist? What do you hope that you will eventually accomplish? Um, my goals, I, I guess I, I just accomplished one of my goals uh, this semester, you know, passing my oral defense last week, uh, had my thesis show, and I got to see the work in a space, and it was nice to see all of these things kind of working together. Um, I think one thing I, I would really like to do is uh, teach, and and um, that's that's something I, I really enjoy. That's something that the program offered us to uh, do while we were here in this program. Uh, so we have experience as a TA and an instructor of record. Um, and currently I'm teaching a painting one course and, and it's, uh, I, I've, I've enjoyed it like uh, for the longest, or I guess since, since I've been in this program and, and having that, that opportunity to do so. Um, and also just 
I want to, I guess one of my goals too is to, to really keep up with my practice as an artist. And, and one thing I, I really enjoy too is exhibiting my work um, and meeting people and so, and making connections and, and just like, um, and so I think, yeah, I think my goal is to become a teacher and have that stability, but also have that time to create and, 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 and be a professional artist. Okay. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, I don't, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I, I, I am definitely excited again for this <laughs> for this opportunity to go to this residency and and i know uh a few people who have gone who have attended this residency in the past and one of my former professors lana waldrip actually told me to see if one of her paintings is there still that she donated when she went there back in like 2008 i think yeah and so you know i i'm, I'm happy to to receive this opportunity and, and, and also just to be in a, in, a, in a space where, you know, some, some people who I follow and keep up with have, you know, went to and, and, and helped them kind of push their career forward as well. Okay. And, yeah. Have you thought about who your favorite wizard is? <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny to, to think about wizard and just like, you know, Ma magic and 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 then I start thinking of like you know many artists and just like their own creativity to make something out of you know kind of nothing at times and uh, uh, so, so so maybe wizards are are maybe multiple people for me when it comes to like influences and and just like seeing you know those who are kind of pursuing their career but uh, uh, and so maybe maybe it's those that I do look up to, I guess, you know, some of my former professors in, at Texas State, Tommy Fitzpatrick for one, and, and, um, and even, you know, Matthew Sontimer and Aaron Holtz, who are here at this program currently. Uh, I think, I think those, those three people do so much, and, and it's, it's, it's crazy to me, for me to think, like, you know, maybe at one point in my life, I'll be you know, within that realm that, you know, they're currently, you know, in, I guess.